All right, so here's an overview of the patch. Everything is coming out of the voltage block. This is the source for all um, CV, both for pitch and for modulation. Everything's being clocked off of the make noise tempi, just using channel one here, just dividing the clock down. A really slow clock, so I think it's about a 16, um, I'm sorry, multiplication of the clock um, coming into the clock input for the voltage block. Then I've got sequence or channel one out of the voltage block controlling the one volt per octave of a 2HP oscillator. Then channel two out of the voltage block is controlling the one volt per octave of another 2HP oscillator. Then channel three snakes over here to the one volt per octave of an STO by make noise. And then channel four goes into another one volt per octave of the make noise. Then we get out of our pitch CV coming out of the voltage block and move into just using some modulation sources. So unquantized voltages coming out of the voltage block. And that's channel five, starting there with channel five, which goes to the shape input of one of the STOs. Channel six goes into the shape input of the other STO. Then channel seven out of the voltage block is going to FM1s modulating the core gasmatron two by IntelliGel. It's filter A's cutoff frequency. And then uh, channel eight, the last channel out of the voltage block is going over to the mutable instruments cloud and it's modulating the amount of reverb um, being applied to all the signal. Um, so that's all the CV source coming out of the voltage block. Then we've got um, the triangle output of the 2HP going into the AL ALM busy circuits uh, Tangle Quartet VCA in this patch, not using any envelopes in the in this patch. Um, so going straight out of the triangle output into channel one, and then channel two is coming from the triangle output of the second 2HP. Channel four is coming from the um, uh, complex waveform output from STO, um, and then the second STO going in there. Um, then routing out the mix output of the Tangle Quartet into channel A of the Rosie, which then sends its feed over to the Corgasmatron. So this is kind of our effects loop here that starts by going out of the effects loop into channel A of the Corgasmatron 2, then which returns to the first to the left input of the clouds. The clouds is running the parasites. Um, the parasites, uh, what do you call it? Firmware, sorry, the fer Parasite's firmware, and it's just in the um, delay mode here. So adding some delay plus some reverb, which then returns a stereo feed back into the Rosie, then feeding out of the Rosie into uh, the DAW to record. So fairly simple patch. Everything though is coming from this voltage block. So hope you enjoy. <laughs>